Hey everyone, this is Carla and welcome to an all new episode of Project Ties, the project management show. And this week, uh, people are celebrating the 50th anniversary of Apollo 11 moon landing. So you had Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin uh, land on the moon this July, 50 years ago in 1969. And I wanted to take this opportunity to break it down in the form of project management. Because landing on the moon and you've never been outside the gravitational pull of the Earth's atmosphere, well, that is an achievement in project management. And I wanted to discuss it. And I found an article from Ricky on project management blog, so I'm going to give credit to it, about nine things and nine lessons learned from the Apollo Um, 11 moon landing so for everyone live and replay viewers welcome I am your hostess I am a certified project management professional certified scrum master and idol with 13 years problem solving experience and project management big data and IT service management and you can follow me here on Periscope at periscope.tv forward slash Carl R. Jenkins. Furthermore, I post uh, limited replays of projectiles on YouTube as well as Instagram TV. And you can also follow me at Carl R. Jenkins, which is my universal social media handle. So the first thing is for of nine is keep open lines of communication with stakeholders. 90% of your job as a project manager is communication. Furthermore, there's two processes that come that are in the initiating phase, which is the first phase of project management. One of them is identifying stakeholders. One of the biggest problems when it comes to projects is you stop identifying stakeholders in the initiating phase or once you complete the project management plan the first time in the project phase. And you don't want to do that. So making sure that you keep in touch with the stakeholders, that is number one. Number two, planning is the most important step. If you fail to plan, you're planning to fail. And as I mentioned before, we never go on to the moon before. And there's a big difference between circumnavigating the Earth's orbit versus going to a moon. And as a native-born Clevelander and Ohioan who, in Cleveland, the Lewis Space Center was renamed Glenn after Ohioan and fellow astronaut, the late John Glenn. There's a big difference in going from John Glenn to Neil Armstrong, who's also from Ohio. And you have to plan for that. And you're not just sending one person, you're sending three So you're sending three people, two of them are going to land and drive the lunar module, and then another person is going to man the spaceship so that they can get back and he can do other experiments. Uh, But planning is essential, number two. Number three, but don't be afraid to modify the plan. That's very important because when Neil Armstrong got there, the button didn't work and it was telling them to abort, but he didn't, so modifying the plan and changing it is very important they even and they did it anyway actually i'm doing this like from knowledge because you know when you're on Ohioan, you know everything about space and i think that the state of ohio produced like the top three of all american astronauts so i'm very proud of that number four Acknowledge risk, but don't let it deter you. And traveling to the moon is a very big risk. As I mentioned, we've never been outside of Earth. We've only been in the orbit of the Earth. And the moon has its own gravitational orbit, its own gravitational pull. And we didn't know what was there. There There's still some people who thought the moon was made of cheese, so go figure. But even though you acknowledge risk, which is number four, don't let it deter you. Number five, be strategic about team communication. And team communication at respect is twofold. One, with the um, space center. And then two, amongst the three astronauts. Because you have to be able to communicate with your immediate team, which is in space. And your uh, larger team, which is with the space center. Number six, delegate. And, you know... 
when this was very important of delegating because a lot of people well you never done it before so you would delegate the responsibility to people who at least had some type of error or man mission or have done previous apollo uh, missions to ask them for what their perspective is we do stuff about subject matter experts and call it the delphi technique sending out surveys to uh, subject matter experts and experts to, and ask them for their perspective on it. I believe in this case they would have asked all the people from the previous Apollo um, missions what their expertise and their opinions were. Number seven, record, record lessons learned. This is very important because after uh, Apollo 11, you had six more missions. You had, well, five because Apollo 13 never got to the moon. But you had Apollo 12, 14, 15, 16, and 17 that also went to the moon too. Number eight says celebrate success as a team. And once they got there, they celebrated well in the space shuttle. Uh, well, in the space center. And the number two, when they got back, they had a huge celebration. They also had a ticker tape parade in the um, in New York. And they also celebrated globally. Everyone wanted to to share in the success. And then number nine, make project success sustainable. As I mentioned before in the lessons learned number seven, I'm talking about how, you know, they made it sustainable by doing it again and again. So they had five other successive missions out of six. Uh, Apollo 12, 13, they didn't get to the moon, 14, 15, 16, and 17. So you had... Um, more than just the two people go to the moon and NASA was able through uh, its Apollo project and after Apollo 11 to keep going back to the moon. So this is this episode of Projectize. I wanted to do something special since Apollo 11, the 50th anniversary of the first moon landing was in the news this week and tied to project management. I also like to thank Ricky, which is spelled W-R-I-K-E, and um, for the article and I just wanted to apply project management to that because getting from earth to the moon is a very big project undertaking that was successful so once again my name is Carla R. Jenkins hostess of Projectize the Project Management Show and you can get in touch with me at Projectize not I mean Periscope.tv forward slash Carla R. Jenkins. That's my universal social media handle. Moreover, we have a free project management newsletter. You can join and sign up at PM uh, at bit.ly forward slash PM Project Mail. So once again, you can sign up for the free PM Project newsletter at bit.ly forward slash PM Project Mail. My name is Carla R. Jenkins. I would like to thank everyone for taking out the time to watch this episode of Projectiles regarding the Apollo 11 moon landing. And I'll see everyone in the next live stream. Goodbye.